Good morning, Alan Briggs, Eastern Area Gold Team with Saturday, September 23rd's morning briefing. So yesterday in Branch 10, um, there was a lot of good work with our contingency group on the southwest side of the fire on the Klamath. Uh, crews were able to get out there, take a good hard look at some contingency lines and they're putting together a PACE model, which is a primary alternate contingency and emergency plan. And that's for uh, future staffing if the fire uh, moves to the southeast. Moving up into Division Yankee yesterday, um, Yankee's uh, crews were working in around the Butler Creek area, and that will also occur today. Uh, the fire, they did do some strategic firing operations on three critical ridge lines, and those fires are moving downhill, backing very nicely, and uh, the resources are keeping those fires square with the elevation as it comes down towards the Salmon River Road. Um, so if you're traveling in that area, please be careful. Um, so we're continuing to the Structure Protection Group is working with Division Y and with Division Juliet, kind of in a multi-mission tasking uh, for the uh, Salmon River structures, as well as the structures along the 96 corridor. Speaking of which, uh, yesterday's operation, they, are, they did do some strategic firing on the western edge of the fire, and that will continue today as well. Uh, the fire is slowly progressing down slope, down towards the 96 highway. So if you're in that area, please uh, be careful of fire traffic and rolling debris. Over in Orleans proper, the, the rest of the structure protection group and the remaining uh, folks in Juliet will be working in rocking chair uh, ridge area. And they'll also be doing a, some small strategic firing there to kind of keep the fire's edge level as it works down the mountain. And that wraps up branch 10. If we go to branch 20, I'll start up top here, um, which was the blue two fire, but because the blue two and the mosquito have now merged, uh, this is just going to be called the mosquito fire. So that should clear up uh, any questions you may have when you're looking at a map and it doesn't say blue two anymore or copper. So um, in, on the northern end of the Mosquito Fire, uh, resources were monitoring the fire's edge growth. We had some small growth yesterday as it's, uh, the fire continues to spread uh, against the slopes. And just a nice backing fire looks really good. And from there, uh, we'll go into Division Oscar. So in Division Oscar yesterday, they were able to get to uh, the high point on the road uh, of the go road and bring their firing operations to that point. And then late last night, uh, when winds were favorable, they continued their firing operation and, and actually um, encased the contain containment line on the go road. While that was occurring, uh, we had UAS and a um, PSD helicopter inserted doing our strategic firing on pre-identified ridge lines. That fire is backing very nicely off the top. It's a, it's a very beautiful, amazing thing. Um, so as we work uh, clockwise around the fire, leaving Division Oscar, similar things were occurring in uh, Division Mike. Um, some Additional depth and strategic firing was added to the ridge lines that were fired off the day before yesterday, uh, and, the, and the fire's progressing nicely. If we go out to the main road here, um, the Cedar Creek Road, crews were able to hold and improve that area as well as uh, monitor for uh, any unverse effects, which there were none. And if we go to the south of the fire here, uh, and that, that mission will continue through today as well. So uh, as, as we go to the south end of the fire, um, it's, the fire there has really just kind of parked itself. It's hung up on a, a nice little ridge line. It's, it's moving around a little, but it's not doing much. So uh, crews will continue to monitor, hold, and improve this. 
the mastication efforts that are uh, will continue on that road until we tie it in uh, down here at the division break with division November. So um, I want to go back to the top and talk about Lima. Lima did do some strategic firing. They had this line on the they had all of the uh, containment line completed yesterday. So today they're gonna they're gonna go in and monitor that piece. They did put some additional uh, depth on a few places just to keep the the fire from some of these ridges that were strategically fired yesterday from making a big push if there was a slope reversal. That did not occur, uh, but the additional depth will also help that fire kind of ease and back down into the valley. So um, that's the, the rest of Division Lima. Up here on the top of November, um, folks were just in a monitor status, patrolling the road down to the Onion Creek Road. Um, this area was, you know, it's been a particular area of interest for the division because the fire's been parked there for a few days. We had that wind event and we were kind of concerned that maybe we'd get a little movement yesterday. That did not occur. And no firing occurred below this portion of the fire. That's the 12 in 14 over to um, the Bluff Creek Road in the bottom. So no firing occurred south of that location. Everything else, all these ridges that were uh, in Oscar, November, or excuse me, Oscar, Lima, and Mike were strategically fired, and it was a great success. Continuing with uh, Division November, the mastication efforts um, will continue again today, as they did yesterday. They're about two miles down the road. It's a slow process as we work with the, as we continue to work with the reeds, uh, both the tribal reeds and the forest reeds. Uh, to ensure that um, we're respectful of the cultural uh, heritage pieces that are out there, as well as making sure that we've got the right size line in place. And uh, we've, so we've got hand crews and some chipping work, as well as uh, masticators, and they'll continue south to meet up with Division Mike. Uh, so I do wanna mention the letter buck fire over here in Division T. We haven't forgotten about that, uh, we've been monitoring that very closely. Uh, every couple days we'll get up there and take a look at it. And it hasn't moved very much at all. Uh, there was a little bit of movement interior into the wilderness there, but again, it's a nice backing fire down a ridge line. There was not a lot of smoke involved with that. So with that, thank you very much and have a great day.